jerk lamb chops is very nice looking well done juicy and nice look it's getting off the bone it's nice looking color is beautiful welcome welcome to Joel in the kitchen today guys i'll be making with you jerk lamb chops and here's my lamb chops wash and ready to go and these are my seasoning that i'm about to use as i go through them i'll be giving it to you one by one so let's get started so guys the lamb chop is here ready clean and i'm gonna be seasoning it so i'll be putting it in my dish here clean remember we're making jerk lamb chop so i usually have um some dry rub that I made, measure out and made, but I didn't have it today. So I'm gonna make my own little bit right now. So here I have some garlic powder and some garlic powder. Garlic powder and onion powder. I'm gonna add a small bit of paprika and I have small paprika. I'm gonna add a small bit, maybe a quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna add like a quarter teaspoon too or less all spice grown all spice so i'm making a dry rub okay. and of course some ginger powder you might love my ginger powder it's maybe a quarter teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder here and last but not least i'll put a teaspoon of sugar and that's a dry rub that's how i would normally make my dry rub when i mix it together and don't be afraid to use your hand it's your meat so don't be afraid to get into it with your hands as long as your hands are clean you always wash your hands before and after. Make sure it's clean. You use soap to wash your hands. And this is what my dry rub look like. So I'm gonna add this dry rub to my, yeah. So I'm gonna be adding some Larry's or any all-purpose seasoning I have just to give it that taste, you know? So I'm gonna add some Larry's because that's if I have all-purpose meat seasoning, then I will be adding it. But I only have Larry's, so that's what I'm gonna be adding to this. That's, that's for the salt, All right? Right, so over. And here is my precious seasoning, my green seasoning. One of these days, I'll make a green seasoning video. So this green seasoning, I like to put it, this is scallion, garlic, ginger, onion, thyme, pep, red pepper, green bell pepper, red bell, all the green seasoning and all the seasoning I have it in my fridge I used to make it. So I'm gonna put some here. And I'm telling you all this, I'm gonna make this seasoning, it can last for a good while. Because what I do, it can last for a week or so, just putting down in your fridge. I want it to last longer. When I want it to last longer, I put it in a Ziploc bag, use it to freeze and keep it until you're ready to use it. It can last a long time. So now is the gloves, gloves time. I'm gonna add some mild jerk seasoning. I remember I said mild. And this is Walker's Wood, my favorite um, jerk seasoning. So I say mild because it's gonna make it spicy and nice, but it's not gonna to be too hot, 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 hot enough. So if you're a person who doesn't like a lot of spice, you're gonna go very light, light on your jerk seasoning, right? But I'm gonna put 
about this on it. It's like more than a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of jerk season. I, I really don't like it too spicy. I like it comfortable eating. I don't like to be eating and I like to eat comfortable. So now is the time I'm gonna put my gloves in because I have the, 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 um, the pepper. So when I'm making my jerk seasoning, I really don't put any form of pepper, stuck bonnet pepper, no pepper in it because not everything you want to be hot and spicy. You can always add. You can always add, but you can't take away. So keep it like that. And if you need pepper in in your in anything you're doing, you can always add that. You can't take it away when you put it in, but you can always add to it. Okay. We're gonna put rub it together. Really marinate, um, massaging in all of these seasoning. I have a way when I'm seasoning meat, you know, I feel like I'm pumping it, you know, get it into like these areas, soft areas. So I really put some pressure on it. And I smell it, it's gonna be good. One more thing, I'm gonna add a little sauce to it, a little small amount of soya sauce, because I wanna get, you know, a little bit of jerk looking color. Not too dark, but yeah, good enough. And it's gonna be good. I can smell it already. That's going to be good. I'm gonna leave this to marinate. You could do this and leave it overnight. Or if you don't have time like me, I never do, I much hardly do anything overnight. I'm that cook, cause I believe that once you give it love, you don't have to do it too much. Unless you're carning some meat, you know, but and a regular, you don't have to give it that much. You can give it a half an hour to kind of soak in. And with this, the way I'm gonna be cooking this, it really don't need to stay any time. But this is what it looked like now. And I'm gonna leave it until just enough time to heat up my oven, because I didn't do it yet. But it's remember, it's gonna be in the oven. So I'm gonna turn the oven on, give it time to heat up. So I leave this, I'm gonna cover and leave it yeah. I'm gonna leave it clean up and heat my oven so I'll be back to show so I'm um, just in ready now to set my meat into the oven I'm gonna put it in this dish Gonna rinse this dish off. A little bit of water, not much. And I'm gonna pour over this. Put something in it, you don't want it to burn. This is what's gonna be cooking it. I'm covering it with a piece of foil. I have my oven on at 325. High speed is good because this is gonna be like cooking it, it's not really baking it, it won't burn it. I'm gonna put it in the heat. I'm gonna leave that to cook. I'm gonna come back at 45 minutes and show you what it looks like. And see what it looks like here in the oven right now. I'm gonna take them out and baste them and put them back. Put them in. Okay, so I'm gonna baste this now. I like, you like to baste me, so you don't wanna let them cook too dry. You wanna keep basting them so you don't cook them too dry. I want them nice and juicy. You see? So I'm gonna test run it with my finger. Mm. It's not need a little bit more cooking. So I'm gonna base it 
and I'm gonna take the cover off because it's already steam nice cook for 45 minutes I'm gonna take the cover off I'm gonna leave it open put it back in the oven I'm gonna come back and I'll show you you keep basing it because you want it juicy not dry I'm gonna put it back in back to show you but I'm gonna leave it open this time I don't want to burn here it is guys I'm gonna put this now back it's all cooked it's ready it smells so good that jerk seasoning makes such a great difference and you see that dry rub oh everything just come together and it has this nice flavor guys I wish you could taste this it's really good and i'm not lying it's not just because i'm the one who cook it but because it's done it's so nice it's so juicy but i'm gonna put it under my boiler so i'm gonna turn my boiler on high and i'm gonna watch it closely because it get burned easily but if you're here and you didn't subscribe yet please remember to hit that subscription button turn on your notification so when I upload a video, you're gonna be one of the first to be notified. Leave me a comment and tell me how you feel about it. This jerk, lamb chops, is one to die for. It's so good, it smells good, this place has an aroma. Mmm, I know it's good. Look how beautiful the pieces are, it smells good. It's not only look good, it smells good too. And it's juicy, nice. It is and now, guys. My jerk lamb chops. Take a look. That's what it is. It's out of the oven. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Here is finish product. My delicious jerk lamb chops jerk sauce this is so delicious guys remember to like share and subscribe leave me a comment guys as always remember to cook with love stay healthy and i will be seeing you in my next video Bye, and thanks for watching.